shout out to the WTC family. For we still chosen if they accent. You got people feeling like their life is so unfair right now, chosen ones. Because of the hand that they dealt you is now being dealt to them. Ain't it funny how life turns around? Ain't it funny what goes around comes all the way back around? I need all my chosen ones to please stay tuned to the very end of this video. Grand rising on this beautiful day, chosen ones. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. You live in your best life right now. You live in how these karmics are dreaming every single night. Understand what I'm saying? God gave you freedom. God gave you the key to prosperity. God gave you abundance. He gave you new beginnings. Understand what I'm saying? God gave you a new spirit. He gave you a new level of anointing. Gl glory to God. God and gave you a new vehicle. I don't know who this message is for, but God gave you a new home. Glory to God. You are living your dream right now. This message is particularly for the chosen ones. You are living your dream. You finally stepped into your calling. You finally took charge over your assignment that's over your life. And God has been doing nothing but blessing you over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying God is finally fulfilling his promises he made to you a long time ago. You know what I'm saying and the promises was for you to have an expected end to give you hope to make you prosperous in the name of Jesus to give you the best life amen ever to give you the life that you deserve let me tell you something chosen ones don't you forget that God transitioned you from the pit all the way to the palace don't you forget where you at right now and also, don't you forget where he brought you from because it's going to keep you grounded. It's going to keep you humble. Amen. Glory to God. But let me tell you something. The people that did you wrong. Amen. The people that mistreated you. The people that dealt you this bad hand that was bearing bad fruit in your life. Amen. While you was constantly bearing good fruit towards these people. Amen. Glory to God. You got to realize that the same hand that they dealt you with is now being dealt to them. A lot of these people are going through health problems because they put their hands on you, chosen ones. A lot of these people, amen, they, 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 they finances have decreases because of the simple fact they don't put their mouth on you. Listen to me. A lot of these people, amen, guess what? They feel like their life is so unfair. They got to get up and go to work every single day. And ain't nothing wrong with getting up and going and getting this paper. But you got to realize the difference between the two. God gave you your dream. Amen. God allowed you to start your own LLC. God and elevated you to the upper room. It's a difference. You can do what you want to do when you want to do it and how you going to do it. You the boss right now. Understand what I'm saying? You calling the shots. Amen. And the only reason why you the boss, because you've been faithful over a few things and God is making you ruler over many. And you wonder why when you come into certain people's presence, you wonder why you get this silent hate. You wonder why you get this awkward energy, this awkward vibe from people. People can approach you. They don't want to speak to you because guess what? You live in your best life right now. And this is why I tell you, chosen ones, you never, ever dim your light to make these karmics feel comfortable. Because guess what? We already gave them the benefit of the doubt to come with us. Believe it or not, chosen ones. It was some people, amen, that we was putting our trust in. Some people we was putting all our love in. We was, we was blessing people, amen. God sent us here to bless certain people and people still mistreated us. They still did us wrong. And every time they look at you, guess what? They, they know they messed up. They look at you with that stank face. They looking at you with that evil eye because they already know they reaping what they have sown unto you, chosen ones. This is why you got to treat people how you will want to be treated. This is why you never talk about nobody when they down because God will raise them on up the next day. So you might be down right now, chosen ones, but let me tell you something. God will raise you on up the next day. Don't you never doubt God's his his his. Don't you never doubt God's power. Don't you never doubt God's anointing. 
Because God will raise you, raise you on up all in front of these people that's mistreated you. He will raise you on up all in these haters' faces. Don't you forget who kicked you when you was already down. Don't you forget who lied on your name and who talked about you and who used you, chosen ones. Don't you forget, amen, who was spreading all your business around to different people, amen, so other people can look at you differently. But guess what? God had put new people in your life that view you differently. God has put new people in your new life, amen, that want to see you win and get these new beginnings and get these new blessings. God will always have a ram in the bush for you, chosen ones. Let me tell you something. You really enjoying this journey right now. Amen. You, you, you're not really worrying about the destination because if you keep on pressing towards the mark, you already know if you keep on pressing towards the mark of the high price of the high calling in the name of Jesus, you eventually going to get to your destination. I understand what I'm saying. And people, when they look at you, you got a lot of people out here. They're miserable. A lot of people that did you wrong, guess what? They still work in that same nine to five job. A lot of people out here, guess what? Their finances have decreased because they talked about you. In all actuality, they should have supported you. They should have pushed you towards greatness. But guess what? They pushed you away. They sent you to the wolves. Now they looking crazy because their life is so unfair. You'd be surprised of how many people don't even like you, Charles, because God chose you for the mission. A lot of people don't realize when God cho chooses us for the mission, he gave us freedom. He didn't gave us everything that our heart desires. He didn't gave us prosperity, abundance. You got to realize all these things that come with the mission. He also gave us our own vision. A lot of people thought they could put their mouth on you. A lot of people thought they can say negative things towards you and say negative things over your life. And they thought that was going to stop you. You'd be surprised at how many people really plotted and planned to go against your destiny because they realized they can't go. And here you is loving these people that don't even like you. Here it, is, here it is. You was waiting for people to go with you to the promised land. That's how genuine you are. And God was like, look, no, 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 no. I'm about to reveal to you how these people really are. Listen to me. Why you trusting people, why you loving people, why you giving to people, they really can't stand you because guess what? They can see God getting ready to bless you. They're getting ready to see God take you to a whole nother level. You got to be careful of who you bless, chosen ones. You got to be careful who you give to. Because all it takes is for you to be a little bit too nice and give a little bit too much and love a little bit too hard for, for these people to tr try to stab you, betray you, or try to use you for your inheritance. Understand what I'm saying? Never dim your light to make these people feel feel uh, 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 comfortable. As a matter of fact, you need to start making people feel uncomfortable. Amen. You need to start making people more intim more intimidated. Amen. You need to start keeping these people guessing. Stop telling people your next move. Stop telling the people your every move. Keep your enemies guessing because they can't figure you out right now. They watching you, but they can't figure you out. Don't you be afraid to put in the comment below and say, you can watch me all you want. Don't you be afraid to tell these monitoring spirits in the comments below and say, you can watch me all you want. You can be nosy all up in my business all you want. Understand what I'm saying? You'd be surprised at what's happening to me right now in this minute. But we're going to say that for another video for another day. You'd be so very surprised of what people were doing to me, amen, behind my back if I really told you exactly what really, really went down. But I'm not even tripping anymore because you know why? I'm living my best life right now. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, guess what? Do what you got to do. I'm living my best life. You're going to have to feel how you're going to feel. Understand what I'm saying? You might as well stay miserable. You might as well go hide in the corner and be mad and pout it all up because guess what? I'm living my best life right now. Chosen ones, count your blessings and name them one by one. Because guess what? God, he turned everything around for your good. What the devil meant for evil, God turned it around for your good. When people did you wrong, they thought that it was going to stop you. But instead of it stopping you, it fueled you to do even better in life. Now you can kick up and, and kick your feet and wiggle your toes and say, Lord, I thank you. Now you can raise your hand up and say, Lord, I give you the glory, honor, and praise because guess what? You brought me from a mighty long way. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below.
and say, Lord, I thank you for bringing me from a mighty long way. And when I mean a mighty long way, you come from a long, long journey. Amen. And this journey still ain't finished yet. Amen. That's why you got to enjoy the journey. Don't worry about the destination. Because the people that do do that did you wrong, they're rushing, trying to get what God already blessing you with right now. Let me tell you something. You'd be surprised at how many people really want your anointing. But they will never, ever, ever take on your attack. You'd be surprised at how many people want your gift. But guess what? They could never made it through the storms of life that you made it out of. You'd be surprised at how many people really want your blessings. But they won't get on their bended knees and say, Lord, I just want to say thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for starting me on my way. Thank you for putting food on the table, clothes on my backs and shoes on my feet. You'd be surprised at how many ungrateful people we have out here. And you wonder why these people are getting what they're getting. The Bible says when praises go up, blessings come down. So you keep on praising his name, regardless of what obstacle that you are going through, regardless of what circumstances that you are going through. You keep on praising his name and watch him open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing room enough to where you can receive it. Glory to God. Because guess what? Greater is he that is in you chosen than he that is of this world. You got greatness on the inside of you. I don't know who this message is for. But you should be surprised at how many people are looking at you from head to toe, saying to themselves, who do he think he is? Who does she think she is? Because you are free. You no longer have to worry about working a nine to five job anymore. Let me tell you something about the chosen ones. We don't work for nobody else. God, he allowed us and he created us to have our own. God called us to do great and mighty things. And if you are chosen, if you work in a nine to five job, I'm not knocking that nine to five job. But let me tell you something. I'm getting ready to push you towards greatness. I what I'm saying. I'm getting ready to push you towards success. Chosen ones. If some chosen ones that is watching right now, you work in a nine to five job. Let me tell you something. The boss will never pay you to be his or her neighbor. Period. Point blank. So I need you to understand right now the real reason why you are being attacked right now, chosen ones. The real reason why, amen, we get attacked from every angle because you know why? We live in our best life right now. The devil mad. The devil is upset. He's agitated right now because number one, he can't figure you out. Understand what I'm saying? Number two, guess what? Even though they done dished out some bad things to you, even though they did some things to you wrong, guess what? You ain't never did them wrong. Because you already know vengeance is mine, thus says the Lord. You ain't went back and looking for revenge. You ain't did nothing to try to get no payback, amen. You held your peace and you let the Lord fight your battles. And now victory is yours. These people got the nerve to feel like their life is unfair. Look what you've done to me. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, look how you treated me. Look how you kicked me, hey amen, when I was already down. Look how you kicked me to the curve. Look how these people pushed you away, ch ch chosen ones. Instead, they should have been pushing you towards greatness. Let me tell you something. You got some people in your life right now, guess what? They want you to be successful until you actually really become successful. And you wonder why you're getting all this silent hate lately. You wonder why when you speak to people, you still influencing the energy. You ain't adapted to no energy. Let me tell you something. Children was never adapt to the energy. I realized that that's when you figure out who people really are and what they really about. That's how you're going to know if people love you or if people hate you. You have to learn how to influence the energy the minute you walk into the room because you living your best life right now. You ain't got time to be stupid down to nobody else's level. Glory to God. God and brought you from a mighty long way. You should be exceedingly glad because guess what? God and gave you freedom. He then gave you what your heart desired. God and grant you your breakthrough. Regardless of what you're going through, God still gave you your breakthrough. Glory to God. And this is how you know when you go around certain people. This is how you know that silent hate is so real. You be like, hey, how you doing today? You so excited, your energy is way up here, your frequency is way up here, and they response is, oh, man. No, 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 no. I'm doing fine. I'm doing good. Their frequency is so low. Their energy is so low because guess what? They feel like their life is so unfair. They living a miserable life. It don't matter how much money you got. 
working a nine to five job. Guess what? You don't got no freedom. That's why they say nine to five. They paying you to forget about your dreams. I need you to wake up, chosen ones. I'm not knocking a nine to five, but guess what? I've, I've been there and I've done that. And I just want you to do better than what I did, chosen ones. I, I want to push you towards greatness. And you wonder why I have my own chosen one academy. Sign up for my WTC mentoring program and don't you look back. All I need is one hour of your time. My email will be in the description below, but the choice is yours, chosen ones. But let me tell you something. People that work a nine to five job, they call it a nine to five for a reason. By the time you get off of work, you're tired. Your energy is already low. You're mad. You're mad at the world because guess what? You ain't got no energy to do anything else. You're not doing what you really want to do. And this is why we got to be wise as a serpent, chosen ones, and harmless as a dove when we go into these karmic presents. Because they're already mad because guess what? They are reaping what they have sown unto you. The same people that mistreated you, that was in high position, God already changed positions. Do you understand what I be preaching about? God already reversed the roles. He changed positions right in front of your own very eyes and right in front of their very eyes as well. People know that their life is going in shambles. The same people that mistreated you, they really need you right now. The same people that's giving you this awkward energy, that's giving you this silent hate, they really need you to get to this next level. So they better come correct. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, you better come correct or guess what? I, I, you're going to be left behind and I'm on my way to prosperity. I'm on my way to abundance. I ain't got time, hey amen, to be playing, hey amen, peekaboo. I see you peekaboo. Are you going to talk to me? Peekaboo. Are you going to speak to me today? I ain't got time for that because God has been too good. I ain't got time to, to be playing hide and go seek. I ain't got time to be playing tag, you're it. I want to see if you're going to tag me back. I want to see if you're going to talk to me back. I want to go see if you're going to congratulate me back. I ain't got time to be playing tag. Because guess what? If you was with me, guess what? You would have never did me wrong. If you really wanted to see me win, you would have never stabbed me in my back. If you really loved me, it wouldn't be so easy to just walk away from me. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. People have did you wrong over and over and over and over and over. And God been trying to show you these people true colors. God been trying to show you, you need to get from out of these people's lives and you need to get ready to walk into your new beginnings. And don't you ever look back again. You living the, your best life right now. You living a good life. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, look at me now, haters. I'm living a good life. Trouble don't last always, chosen ones. They thought trouble was going to last forever with you. And they got the nerve to be looking at you with this stank face. And they got the nerve to be looking at you with this evil eye. They don't forgot the hand that they done dealt you. Understand what I'm saying? Do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. And you know what's so fucked up about it? Excuse my French. But you know what's so messed up about it? These people block their own blessings by doing you wrong. <laughs> Understand what I'm saying? You was helping people. You was even waiting for people. You thought certain people was with you. Hey, man, I'm telling you what's going on, Charles. Listen up. You thought certain people was loving you and supporting you. And you thought people really had your back. Until God kept on elevating you and elevating you and elevating you and elevating you. And, and you're like, wait a minute. Now, all of a sudden, these people are starting to hate you. They starting to dislike you. They starting to look at you and give you this silent treatment. Now you wonder why certain people give you coach treatment. Understand what I'm saying? Now you wonder why people, hey amen, they don't want to put their all into you because they already know you already got it. But it don't even matter. They fell to realize you belong to the plug. You belong to the source. Don't you be afraid to put it comes below and say, hey, you can mistreat me all you want. I still belong to God. You can talk about me still to this day. Guess what? My body my, and my mind and my spirit, it still belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. God just raised you on up. And he brought the same people that mistreated you. He brought them on down. Understand what I'm saying? And you got to realize in this season, 
that no matter what obstacles come your way, no matter what challenges come your way, no matter what people mistreat you and no matter what people say about you, if God is for you, can none of these people be against you, chosen ones? I promise you that. So whoever this message is for, you don't got nothing to worry about. Because you have to realize who you belong to. You got to realize that God chose you for the mission for a reason. You ain't never switched up on nobody. You ain't never stabbed nobody in their back. Understand what I'm saying? You ain't never talked about nobody. You always wanted the best for people. Let me tell you something. So God said, guess what? I'm getting ready to give you a new life. God said, guess what? I'm going to give you new beginnings. I'm going to give you a fresh new start. I'm going to give you new abundance. I'm going to give you a new level of anointing. Don't you be afraid to put it coming below. Say, Lord, I thank you for making everything brand new in my life. Lord, I thank you for a new life. Lord, I thank you for freedom. I thank you for a new walk. I thank you for a new talk. Let people feel how they're going to feel, children. Ones. Let people be miserable. Let people, amen, live their worst life. Excuse me. Hey, it might sound mean, but let people live their worst life. Because guess what? They already wish bad upon you. We can pray for these people. But let me tell you something. Love these people from a distance. Love these people with a silver handle spoon. I'm telling you, you got to love these people from a distance because guess what? Once people start really seeing what God is getting ready to do, because guess what? God ain't finished with you yet. And if people think their life is unfair right now and God just gave you a sprinkle of the blessing, <laughs> wait till you see what God really about to do for you. Amen. If they just keep on living. See, God will allow your enemies to live. God will allow your fake family members to live so they can see you get blessed. I'm telling you what's going on. The tables have turned. The tables have turned in your favor. I would never forget children when I was out here in the struggle. I would never forget when my back was against the wall. I would never forget chosen ones where God has brought me from. I would never forget when I was going through these hard times of how many people put me in these hard times. And I would never forget the people that got me out of these hard times. But you got to be careful for nothing because guess what? It'd be the closest people to you. The same people that, 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 that really help you out of those hard times. Guess what? They're going to want something in return. Understand what I'm getting ready to tell you. Cer certain people are just like that. Certain people, they think that you're not going to make it without their help. Certain people are just like that. Some people will help you. Listen to me. Some people will help you just to stab you. It's weird. That's why I say certain people will come in your life disguised as a supportive angel, but we already know they ain't nothing but a snake in the grass. Some people will really get that close to you to stab you in your back. This is why you don't put your trust in nobody here on planet Earth, but put all your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. I promise you, and he going to bring you out without a shadow of a doubt. So let me tell you something, chosen ones. Let these people feel like their life is so unfair. Let these people go through those growing pains like you have to go through those growing pains. Stop trying to save everybody. Stop telling everybody your next move. Amen. Because everybody's not going to be happy for you because they live in a miserable life right now. And you so genuine, you was even waiting for people. And God had to tell you, everybody can't go. Am I right, chosen ones? We was waiting for certain people to go to the promised land with us. And they show their true colors because they already knew that God was getting ready to take you to a whole nother level. You'd be surprised, man. You ain't got to do nothing wrong to people, children. I need y'all to listen to every word that's coming out of my mouth because I'm living this right now. I'm experiencing this right now. I never knew what it meant. Each and every new level requires a new devil until I got older and until God started elevating me. I never knew what it meant until I actually started experiencing this new level up. Don't get it twisted. Leveling up is the best feeling in the world because we live in our best life. We upgraded. We get in paper. We can be able to bless others. But it, 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 something comes with that level up. Something comes with you, you know, rising to the occasion. Some come with you just getting to that next level. It, some comes with that. And that's hatred. That's jealousy. That's silent hate. People going to be coming at you with weird, awkward vibes because you are leveling up. 
People are just not going to like you because of the simple fact you are destined for greatness. As crazy as that might sound, I'm telling you, man. A lot of people want what God has given you. A lot of people want your anointing, but they don't want your attack. A lot of people want your gift. A lot of people, they want your new life that God has given you, chosen ones. You got to be careful for nothing. But I'm here to tell you right now. Ain't it funny how life turns around? Ain't it funny that what must goes up, it got to come down. And you already been through those seasons of ups and downs, shows ones. You were up at one point, God had to bring you right back down. Let's keep it real. We wasn't always perfect. We are all filthy rags on our best day. Let's keep it 100. But guess what? You learn from your mistakes. You learn, amen, from, from your old ways, amen. You learn not to lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge the Lord Jesus Christ and he going to direct your path. And ever since God been directing your path, you've be, you been living your best life. Ever since you've been doing right by God, God been blessing you. Keep it like that. Ever since you've been putting God first, guess what? All these things that are beginning to be added unto you and they watching. The same people that did you wrong, that, that dealt you that bad hand, that gave you that jack. They gave you that jack. Understand what I'm saying? They dealt you the joker. They dealt you the joker hand, amen? And, and, and guess what? They fell to realize that if you do anything wrong to the chosen ones, guess what? You're, going, you're getting ready to feel the wrath of God. You got these people humble as a dove. When you go into people's presence and they don't say a word to you, after you done spoke to them and then they acknowledge them and you done influence the energy and they don't speak, oh, you already know karma whooping they behind right now. You already know they watching you. They praying on your downfall, but no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. It will not work in the name of Jesus. This go for your fake family members. They live, their life is unfair right now. Your so-called friends that you done grew up with. The majority of these people, their life is so unfair right now. And people further realize when we was living that quote unquote unfair life, which it wasn't unfair to us, we was always grateful and people wonder why we get blessed the most because we be so grateful of the small things because we already know God going to bless us with bigger things. When I was working these nine to five jobs, when I was working all these different jobs, I had a smile on my face. I was grateful because I knew I was going to be there for long. This is just my stepping ground right here. This is just my stepping stone right here. God is getting ready to plant my feet on higher ground. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say the best is still yet to come. It ain't over yet. And those of you chosen ones that are working nine to fives right now, I'm here to tell you right now, God is getting ready to plant your feet on higher, higher ground. You're not going to be working for people for long because guess what? It's going to be unfair because you got this gift and you working for somebody else. To make their business better. So your life going to be unfair. But I'm here to tell you right now. God is getting ready to plant your feet on higher ground. Be grateful. Never despise small beginnings. Amen. Never despise small prophesies over your life. Never despise uh, uh, manifestation. Manifestation is real. Life and death is in the power of the tongue, chosen ones. Don't you forget that. What you speak, it can come true. It shall come true. So you continue to speak new life over the life that you have right now. You keep on speaking new begins over, amen, where you at right now, over the beginnings that you are in right now. You keep on speaking prosperity over your life. Speak abundance over your life. Speak generational wealth over your life in the name of Jesus. Don't you be afraid to put it comes below and say, I speak new life right now in the name of Jesus. I speak new beginnings over my life in the name of Jesus. I speak prosperity over my life. I speak abundance over my life in the name of Jesus. And it's so sad because the people that did us wrong, it's sad because they can't even go with us. The people that we waited for us, it'd be the ones that is closest to you and it hurts us. And this is how loving we are. It hurts us that certain people can't go with us that started with us. You got some people that started with you, but guess what? They will not finish with you. 
and it's going to hurt you. I done had some crying nights. Trust me, chosen ones. I done had some sleepless nights because I'm saying, Lord, how come this relationship didn't work? Lord, how come this friendship didn't work? God says, stop stressing. Stop worrying about it because guess what? Everybody wasn't for you. Everybody didn't love you the way they were supposed to love you. If they loved you, it wouldn't be so easy to walk away. Don't you be afraid to put the comments below and say, if you loved me, you would have hung in there with me. If you loved me, you would have prayed with me. If you loved me, you would have uplifted me. If you loved me, you would have pushed me towards greatness. And it's sad, chosen, because the people that did you wrong, they started with you at first. And it's sad because they can't even go to where God is taking you. So God had to heal you when you was in that pit. Listen to me. You was in that pit for a reason. God had to heal you. God had to make you stronger. He had to give you resilience. He had to give you strength because guess what? You were so loving. You were too loving. Glory to God. You wanted certain people to go with you, but other people had hidden agendas. You better listen to me what I'm saying. People had hidden agendas. They had different intentions. People had evil's intentions against your life, against your destiny. God said, you're not about to stop what I already have, have prepared. You're not about to stop, amen, my chosen one. You're not about to stop what I got going on right now. God chose you for the mission for a reason. Because a, a lot of people out here in this world, they need Jesus. And guess what? We the only ones that's going to bring people closer to Jesus because we the chosen one. This is why we're connected to his blessings. We're connected, amen, to the source. We're connected to the plug. We're connected to the creator of the heavens and the earth. Anything you want, God got it, chosen ones. Anything you need, God got it. Trust me. Why do you think God made you a loner instead of a borrower? Don't you forget, you used to be a borrower, chosen ones. I used to be a borrower. I'm going to keep it real. I'm working this nine to five job. Y'all already know I'm making them richer. They're not making me richer. But I didn't complain. I didn't murmur. I was grateful. I was faithful over a few things. Glory to God. So God said, I'm getting ready to make you ruler over many. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. I was working this nine to five job. And sometimes you got to swallow your pride and do what you got to do. Amen. So you can get to this next level of your life. It might feel like your life is unfair at the moment, but I'm here to tell you right now, hold your head up high. A change is going to come in the name of Jesus. New beginnings is going to come in the name of Jesus. Hold your head up high, chosen ones. So you have to be very wise in this season because a lot of people, guess what? They're going through recession right now. Government is getting ready to shut down. Understand what I'm saying? People don't know where their next meal is going to come from. People don't know what their next income is coming from. I'm talking about the people that did you wrong. Stay humble in this season. Because everybody is not getting blessed like you, chosen ones. Because of the simple fact, they have dealt that bad hand towards you. In all actuality, they should have dealt that good hand. They should have gave you a queen because you're a queen. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, you should have dealt me a queen card because I'm a queen. Tell them in the comments below, my sisters, my chosen queens. For everybody that did you wrong, tell them in the comments below and say, you should have dealt me a queen card because I am a true queen. Come on, my chosen kings. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, hey, you should have dealt me a king card because I'm a chosen king. And instead, instead of people giving you first class treatment, they was giving you coach treatment because guess what? They knew God was getting ready to elevate your class. God was about to upgrade your class. Y'all better pay attention. So people still feel like they was going to give you close treatment. Oh, people love when you was going through the struggle. People love it when you beneath them. Have you noticed when you be below certain people and people are in a higher position than you, they doing better than you. They talking to you. They come up with this high vibrational energy. They come up with this high frequency. They on top of the world.
<laughs> and then guess what? Behind your back, they talking about you. They dogging you out. They saying that you're not going to make it. They praying on your downfall, but but knowing they know you destined for greatness. And guess what? God said, you know what? I'm getting ready to punish them. I'm getting ready to reverse roles. I'm getting ready to change positions because guess what? These people know better. The next time these people come into your presence, they're going to know better. They know better to come at you with respect. They have no choice but to come at you with respect. And this is why when you go into these people's presence, they are humble as a dove. You done humbled your enemies. Ooh, look how powerful you are, chosen. You done humbled your enemies. At first, your enemies was getting on your nerves. Your enemies was really out here trying to destroy you. It's not easy trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to fight these spiritual battles with your enemies. If you guys can relate to what I'm saying right now, it ain't easy going through this spiritual warfare. But you done passed the test by loving your enemies. And the Bible says, love your enemies and I'm going to make them your footstool. And people did you wrong. They stole from you. Listen to me. They talked about you. They lied on you. They mistreated you. They abused you. They manipulated you and they gaslighted you, chosen ones. That's deep. They laughed at you. But guess what? It's not so funny now because God turned everything around for your good. What the devil meant for evil, God turned around for your good. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below. Let's give God the praise and say, Lord, thank you for turning everything around for my good. Lord, thank you for every blessing that you are bestowing upon my life. Lord, thank you, oh God, for just creating me a clean heart. And thank you for renewing the right spirit within me. Thank you, oh God, that I'm be able to live my best life right now. Lord, I thank you for peace of mind. Lord, I thank you that I can go where I want to go. I can do what I want to do. I can worship you when I want to worship you, Chosen. Let me tell you something. It don't matter how much money these people got. The, the people that did you wrong, it don't matter how much money they got. I promise you, I 100% guarantee you that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. I promise you that. So the people that's mistreating you right now as I speak, if you got somebody mistreating you, oh, you best believe you're getting ready to receive all the blessings that they have right now. Because they're not doing right by God. And what you reap is what you sow. What you put into the universe is definitely going to be given back unto you. This is why you always treat people how you would want to be treated. Understand what I'm saying? So don't you even worry about the chosen ones. Because the hand they dealt you is now being dealt to them. We win. We the chosen ones, baby.